Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, how do you do? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. To you and you and you and you and you and you and you. Good morning! Welcome to my learning circle. I'm Miss Connie, and I'm so glad that you're back again with me today to learn more about our alphabet. Now, we've been practicing our alphabet song, and we're getting better and better, right? That's right, because when we practice, when we do something over and over again, it gets easier and easier. And it gets easier and easier because the more you do it over and over again, the more you learn it. The more you learn it, the easier something becomes. So let's practice our alphabet song together and learn it a little bit more together. Here we go. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. 26 letters for you and me. 26 letters in the alphabet. Now sing them all with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. 26 letters in the alphabet. 26 letters for you and me. 26 letters in the alphabet. Learn them all so you can read. Very good job. You are getting so good at our alphabet song. Keep up the hard work and it'll get easier and easier every time. Now, let's learn a new letter together today. Today, we are going to be learning about the letter X. The letter X, the X, X. This is our uppercase letter X, our big letter X. And this is our lowercase letter X, our little letter X. Let's put them on our board right here so we can focus on them a little bit more and learn more about them. Were you listening? Did you catch the letter X sound? Well, the letter X is a little tricky. The letter X has two different types of sounds. It can say X and it can say X. The letter X says X, 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 and sometimes X, X, X. Can you say that with me? The letter X says X, 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 and sometimes X, X, X. Very good job. Now let's think about some words that begin with our letter X and our letter X sounds, the X and X sounds. There's x, x, xylophone and x, x, x-ray. Both of those are letter x words that begin with the letter x sound, the x and x. Now, a lot of times when you see the letter x, it will not be at the beginning of a word. It will be in the word or at the end of the word, but you'll still hear the x sound. Let's think about some words that have the letter X in them. There's six and there's box. Did you hear the letter X in those? Six, the X at the end of the word six, and box with X at the end of the word box. Both of those end with the letter X and the letter X sound, the X sound. Now we've used our ears to listen and learn more about our letter X and the letter X sounds, the X and X. Let's get ready to use our eyes to look and learn more about how to make our letter X. Well, look at this, our uppercase letter X and our lowercase letter X, they look similar, don't they? When something is similar, it means they look a lot alike, but not exactly alike. Our uppercase letter X has one big long line, two big long lines, 
and look at our lowercase letter x. It has one little short line, two little short lines. Both of them have two lines, but our lowercase letter x is a little bit shorter. It's a little letter. We can make our uppercase letter x like this. One big long line, two big long lines. One, two. Two big long lines in our uppercase letter x. In our lowercase letter x, we can make it like this. One little short line, two little short lines. One, two. Two little short lines in our lowercase letter x. We've used our ears to listen and learn more about our letter x and the letter x sounds, the x and x. And we've used our eyes to look and learn more about our uppercase letter x and our lowercase letter x. Let's get ready to put it all together so that we can talk about it. Now, our uppercase letter x has how many letters? Very good, it has two, <laughs> two letters, it has two lines. I got tongue tied, it has two lines. Now, when I write a letter, where do I start it? That's right, always at the top. We have one big long line all the way down like this, and then another big long line all the way down just like that. Our uppercase letter X, the X letter X. Now, our lowercase letter X, how many lines does it have? That's right, it has two lines also. And we still start where? At the top, always at the top. We have one little short line down like this, and then another little short line down like that. Our lowercase letter x, the x letter x. Thank you so much for coming and learning more about our alphabet with me today. And learning about our uppercase letter X and our lowercase letter X and the letter X sounds, the X and X. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.